but excellent. For the most part, I come up. There are times when I'm either standing too long or sitting too long, mm -hmm. and I go to get up, and it's just like, oh, that, you know, it takes a few minutes for the pain and the tightness to go away. Okay. What, what do you do for work again? I work as a firefighter EMT okay. at the mill, and then I'm also a fire inspector. Oh, at, oh you're just at the mill, though. Right. Yeah, I don't that's do right. That's right, that's right. Okay, guys, I have Paul in the office. Um, just had to refresh my memory a little bit, but he had originally was coming in for low back pain, but lately we've been, we've been working more on his neck, his shoulders. Paul, you're getting shoulder pain, correct? Correct. Down the arm, or does it stay right local to the shoulder? It's local to the shoulder. Is it more in the front or uh, more back? More back and side. More, okay, out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's getting some pain when he goes into adduction, abduction, abduction, lifting his shoulder up. Um, so we're gonna work on some of the muscles, his trap muscle, his rhomboid, his levator scap, some of the bigger muscle groups that are involved in the shoulder movement. The most common thing I see in my office with the shoulder is problems with the spine in terms of the alignment and restrictions in your thoracic spine, irritated or adhesions that build up in the bigger muscle groups. So the trap muscle here, the bigger muscle groups surrounding the scapula. So your rhomboids, your levator scap, your trap, a little bit of your deltoid, adhesions and restrictions that need worked on in those bigger muscle groups. Once we clear that up, a lot of the shoulder function and comes back, pain goes away. All right, so it's, it's problems with those bigger muscles, the spine needs adjusted, and then the, we can take some of the stress and tension off the ligaments and the tendons of the shoulder. So a lot of, a lot of what people are getting basically is tendonitis or almost a sprain of their shoulder ligaments because other aspects of the shoulder aren't working properly. All right, and it can lead to neck pain and headaches because these same muscle groups run up into the neck. Take a deep breath in, Paul. Exhale. Good. Excellent. So that's his thoracic spine adjustment to clear, to get better thoracic movement and mobility. And then we're gonna work on the muscles along the scapula to free up some of the scapular mobility. All right, just a little. This is a very effective treatment for shoulder pain. If you're dealing with chronic shoulder pain, it's the best place to be. Don't mask the symptoms. You don't need injections, right? Let's see if we can help it with chiropractic. You okay with that pressure? Yes. Tender though, right? Yes. Any tenderness out through here? No. no. So all these tenderness is right on this big muscle group that comes right off his neck down to his shoulder. So he's a firefighter EMT at which mill? Edgar Thompson. Edgar Thompson Mill. So you're on your feet a lot. Like describe your yeah, we're um, constantly on the go. Heavy equipment. Heavy equipment, lifting, pulling, moving. Uh, awkward positions at times. Mm -hmm. And one of the dangers of not getting this worked on and getting this corrected and just taking medication, masking the symptoms, this can lead to a much bigger shoulder problem. So Paul's been, been great. He's getting this fixed before it turns into a, a situation where there's a tear in the rotator cuff, where he tears a labrum, where he needs more than more medical intervention in terms of surgery. You can prevent that process by not masking it with, like I said, medications or injections and getting it actually fixed at the root causes, which is what we're trying to do. Go on your back for me, Paul. Big up, take a deep breath. Exhale, come on back. That's the anterior thoracic adjustment. Same thing, just trying to get some better thoracic movement. Now let's get his neck adjusted. Just relax your shoulders. Good. And this one. Perfect. Now we'll probably do some traction here. Um, let's do your low back. Go on your side facing me this way. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. 
Other side. Check this deep breath. Exhale. Good. Everything else moved perfect. Okay, that's going to be it. I'm actually going to do a little more soft tissue and some traction, but as far as the adjustment goes for his shoulder pain, that's basically it. So if you're dealing with shoulder pain, neck pain, headaches, that treatment gets to the root cause. Don't just mask the symptoms, actually get the problem fixed. Thank you.